This is the Banega Swast India campaign and today is World Health Day. Actor Bhumi Padnekar, who has been associated with our campaign for many years, has recently been announced as UNDP India's first national advocate for sustainable development goals. She joins us now to talk about how central health is to many of the SDGs. Bhumi, congratulations on becoming the first national advocate for SDG goals by UNDP. What are the areas you're going to be focusing on and raising awareness on as the national advocate for SDGs? Uh, hi, I'm Vika. Thank you so much for having me uh, on another season. I am extremely, extremely uh, proud to be the first national advocate for SDGs for the UNDP in India. The idea of SDGs is to create a sustainable, equal world, you know, be it socially, environmentally, economically, by aiding uh, many, many vulnerable and marginalized communities. And uh, I just want to do the maximum amount of work that I can to achieve these goals. Bhumi, health is central to the SDGs. In fact, SDG 3 talks about ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being. When we talk about the other 16 goals, they're also related to health one way or the other. Lakshya Sampurna Swastika is our theme for this season. How do we ensure health for all? You know, I feel um, what we've seen in the last three years has been quite an awakening. You know, we mm -hmm. have seen countries globally crash because, you know, we went through a pandemic, you know, the, the healthcare mm. system just crashed. I feel it was a great time for all of us to kind of reflect and understand that we need our healthcare to be way, way, way stronger. But it kind of has to start on a grassroots level. Healthcare mm. is just not about accessibility. Yes, that's a very, very, very big part. But in our country, it is also stigmatized. You know, mm. when we especially look at children and women from marginalized communities, they have zero access to healthcare. I think my job and what I really want to do is reach out to as many people as possible and let them know that it is basic healthcare is provided to you and it is your right to accept it. And health is just not physical well-being. It is mental yes. well-being as well. You know, uh, I feel that messaging also needs to be spread far and wide. So as you mm -hmm. rightly said, the SDGs are interdependent on each other. Mm -hmm. We cannot achieve any of the goals without making sure that the other goals are at equal power with the one that we are trying to achieve. Healthcare is equally in hand with the adverse effects of climate change. It is yes. equally in hand with gender equality. It is equally in hand to sanitation, clean water, affordable and clean energy you know so, so mm. i personally do believe that we can't achieve any goal till there is parity in achieving all the other goals as well Bhumi, you just spoke about gender equality and that's my next question sdg5 is achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls we as a nation don't fare very well on that unfortunately and when it comes to health we see a huge gap again what are your thoughts on this as a woman of this country, as somebody who has such high hopes and ambitions of being a citizen of this country, definitely breaks my heart. But I'm very, very motivated to uh, make sure that, you know, we do create an equal world. You know what surprises me, Ambika? When we look at the contribution that women have globally, you know, we are the caregivers. We are the ones that can, we are the ones that set up our ecosystem. And yet Absolutely. our contribution is completely ignored. I feel that's what needs to be changed. We need people in places of power. We need women to be a part of policies that are made. You know, only then will we have policies that protect women the way they're supposed to be protected. Yes, we are trying to achieve a world that is equal. Bhumi, we know the connection between climate change and health-related triggers for diseases. What are your thoughts on the urgency in taking actions collectively towards climate change? Ambika, climate change is the largest looming threat that humanity has ever faced. We are going through it right now. You know, the other day I was reading a report, I was reading something uh, that pretty much said that India is going to be one of the first countries to be hit by the adverse effects of climate change. What does that mean? That means we are going to see mass, we are going to see a mass refugee crisis. We are going to see an outbreak of many, many diseases. We all are going to be affected by it. So it is all of our collective duty to make sure that we leave behind a habitable planet. Mm -hmm. I mean, just look at it, right? It is around, it is just not about the virus outbreak that happened. It's just not about COVID-19. It is generally about 
how hot have our summers become how cool yeah. have our winters become and you know what we often forget is that this planet is not human owned we share mm-hmm. it with billions and millions of species but there is just no empathy thank you bhumi for joining us today it's always a pleasure to have you with us